Video file. Start a video file from the get-go, day one. Uh, grew up in a small town in upstate New York. Two types of New Yorkers, Hicks and Slicks. I, I'm, a, I'm a Hick. Sam Volo was a great high school football coach. And growing up in a small town with 3,000 or so people, on Saturdays you'd watch high school football. As a little kid, I'd watch the game the first time, but then when I would go to school on Monday, once I was uh, of age where I was in junior high school, I would watch the game three more times on a sequence analyzer. I would be able to watch it during uh, my lunch period, my phys ed period, and study hall. If you had a certain average, you could sign out of study hall. And Sam Volo would go back and forth. From that point in my young life, I knew that video was very powerful. I'll give you another example of video. Um, when I worked for Vic Braden, I certainly had a key to his classroom, key to his office, and Vic films everything. And I looked at film of uh, John Austin and Elliot Telcher, both world-class tennis players. John won Wimbledon with his sister Tracy. Elliot was a top ten player numerous times in the world. But to watch film of both John and Elliot at a really young age when they worked with Vic, and then years later I was at the US Open with Vic, and John and Elliot were playing one another. Another video story is Vic was doing tips for PBS, just one minute tennis tips. And Bob Lutz, who was a Davis Cup double, doubles player, great tennis player, Vic wanted to show his underspin backhand. And Lutz told him, he said, well, no, Vic, I don't hit it the way you teach. So Vic was a little discouraged and hung up the phone. But then after thinking about it for a while, Vic called him back up and said, let's just film you. And then I'll just narrate, I'll just explain what you're doing. And Lutz said, fine. And then the tape didn't go like this. Vic had a yellow strip of tape, went down at a 45 degree angle. That's the way the player thought he hit the underspin backhand, but actually the racket face was vertical to hit, initially went out in this position. So film is very powerful. Um, I'm going to show you a film, and we're going to talk about time. The film, um, we started the coaching the player in his, on his video file um, at age seven, May 98. So time management. You want to bank hours. Write down how many hours you practice. A kid should be able to practice 1,000 hours a year. Now with homeschooling, that just goes way up. But a kid who's going to regular school should be able to practice 1,000 hours a year. Years ago, I used to give, at the end of the year, a sweatshirt out, and I would have on the sleeve um, how many hours they practice. And we had kids 987, 972. And then right over the heart, we would just put the word go. And 1,000 hours a year, three hours a day, 1,000 hours a year, 10 years, um, the 10,000 hour rule. But we're going to show you a tape after we had worked with a player for 21 months. And then we're going to show you a tape from um, 127 months. So you'll see a film of a young nine-year-old hitting the backhand. And it's going to look very much like Andre Agassi's backhand. So then you'll see a film of him at age 18 hitting the backhand. Um, now we're May of 09, so it's 132 months. Now the, the player is a very accomplished player. Uh, he got to the point where he's ranked one here in his section in Florida in the 14 and unders. He won Kalamazoo, the boys 18 and unders. And uh, right away, just his uh, first year in college, and he's repeated that here his second year of college, He's an All-American. So let's just take a, a minute and go and look at a video file of a young tennis player. Okay, the third angle, February 26, 2000. Rackets up high, arms on the inside. It's going to go high, low, high, and inside out. Now this is off a of slow motion. I'm critiquing it. It's a narrated slow motion analysis tape. Now he's going to look for a long hitting zone. Racket face is vertical. I'd like to have him adjust his back foot. Eyes are down at the hit. Body's at a 45 degree angle. Now watch the path of the racket. He's a lefty, so the tip of the racket is pointing to the right. So there's no wrist play. He's definitely had a vertical lift. He's relaxed the swing from his elbows. Again, it's brain memory. We want to program someone from the beginning. 
No such thing as little strokes for little folks. And to this day, he's got a great backhand. Austin on the backhand side. Obviously, the, the first film you looked at was old, archaic, off a of beaten up clay court. That's one point when you film on a black court, you don't really have a very good contrast of colors. But again, just watching this, he's hit millions and millions of balls. But you can see the similarities from how he was taught when he was a youngster. Thank <laughs> you.